the monster under the bed. Bedtime can also be a pretty scary time for kids. After all, it's dark, you're alone in your room, and there are often strange noises. A lot of these noises, no doubt, came from the monster living under your bed. It's why we would run and jump into bed. It's also why we didn't dangle our feet or arms over the edge, a perfect snack for a hungry monster. The bed monster looked different to each kid, yet we all dealt with it the same way. Night lights and a patrol by parents were often enough to temporarily keep the creature away for at least a few nights at a time. Zombies. Deformed and rotting corpses which have been reanimated will stop at nothing to eat your flesh. That's scary for both adults and kids. That said, since the 1968's classic Night of the Living Dead, zombies have been scaring kids non-stop. There have been countless zombie films since then, each more graphic than the one before it. One thing's for sure, as kids we were scared to death by the thought of a mob of these monsters coming through our windows and smashing down the door as they looked for their late night snack. The Boogeyman also known as Sackman, Takalash, and Der Schwartzman, this terrifying childhood monster is better known to you and me as the Boogeyman. Depending on where you live, he can take on different forms, ranging from a cloaked, faceless figure who lurks in the shadows to a razor-toothed, deformed goblin. Pennywise. Clowns can be creepy, and the television rendition of Stephen King's It did nothing to help with this reputation. In this show, any kids watching were introduced to Pennywise, a murderous clown. This particular scary monster haunted children from the sewers and shower drains. With razor-sharp teeth, discolored eyes, and a creepy voice, the ability of Pennywise was to show up anywhere, made him one of the scariest monsters from our childhood. Chucky. While there's no doubt that some dolls can be creepy, the murderous Chucky doll of the Child's Play films had more than a few kids checking their room before they went to sleep. He was originally just a regular talking doll that you could buy at any toy store, throw in a lightning storm and the spirit of a serial killer, and you've got a monster that's been scaring kids for the last 25 years. Today as adults, we can find a lot of Chucky's scenes comical, but as a kid, this blood-covered, knife-wielding doll gave us nightmares. The Flying Monkeys from The Wizard of Oz What's so scary about a monkey? Well, in addition to belonging to the Wicked Witch of the West, these monkeys had wings, made a high-pitched howling sound, and had creepy faces that were blue with bright red lips. When the swarm of these monsters descended on Dorothy and her friends in the haunted forest, it made for a scary scene for kids. They may be one of the oldest monsters around, but the flying monkeys definitely deserve a mention when talking about scary monsters from our childhood. Bigfoot. While adults continue to debate the existence of this creature, there's no doubt Bigfoot scared more than just a few of us kids. The thought of a massive, human-like beast lurking in the woods was pretty scary. Looking at photographs or seeing grainy footage of a Bigfoot lumbering through the forest only made our imaginations go into overdrive. If we ever heard strange noises in the woods, felt like we were being watched, or caught a glimpse of something out our window, chances are that some of us thought it was one of those hulking monsters and he might just be nearby. Freddy Krueger. As kids, we probably weren't supposed to be watching films like A Nightmare on Elm Street, but we watched them anyway. This series introduced us to Freddy Krueger, the poster child of monsters that scared us. Freddy could seemingly appear anywhere and killed people in their dreams. His deformed face and knives for his hand made for a visually scary character that had us avoiding bedtime. Gamork. Of all the bizarre and creepy creatures in the movie The NeverEnding Story, Gamork stands out as the one that scared kids the most. Gamork was a giant evil wolf. His sole purpose was to hunt down and kill Atreyu, the hero of the film. He appeared from the shadows with his ominous voice and glowing eyes which signaled kids everywhere to turn off the TV and cower in fear. The Skeksis. Jim Henson and the movie with some of his puppets. What could possibly be scary? If you've ever seen The Dark Crystal, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. A rather dark film to begin with. Kids were introduced to the Skeksis, a breed of creatures which seem to blend vultures with lizards, add in some human qualities, and the Skeksis become one of the scariest creations kids had ever seen. Children expecting Kermit and Miss Piggy instead had their heads filled with terrifying images of these evil and murderous creations. We hope you enjoyed this video. Here are some other videos that we think you might like, and don't forget to click subscribe.